Welcome everyone, this is our Wednesday Wisdom where we go over tips, tricks, and information on band instrument repair. Today we are going to show you all sorts of sax mods that can earn you extra money on your overhauls in your repair shop. We're also going to give you kind of a preview of some of the things that we're doing in our course that's coming up tomorrow. This is our saxophone modifications course. That's going to be coming up on March uh, 2nd, I believe. That's tomorrow, so that's going to be right up here. Uh, right up there actually. So what's cool about this, and I'm just going to take a second here, uh, this course that we're doing tomorrow is a virtual course. So even if you're watching the stream today, you can sign up for it and get the link and watch it. Uh, I've also dramatically reduced the price. So it's kind of a fire sale uh, that we're doing. Get while it's hot. Course. That's right. Uh, and we also have coming up on March 6th through 9th, that is our advanced saxophone course in person. I also have that on sale. Uh, that's going to be right here. So make sure that you check that out on the website too. If you're in the area, you might be able to get down here and enjoy some of the things that we have going on next week. Now, we also have a hashtag for today that's going to be Saks Pro Shop Mods. Make sure you take that and put that in the comments below. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Of course, that really helps us keep doing this sort of uh, information. Uh, but also, if you put Saks Pro Shop Mods in the comments below for this stream, whether you watch it now or later, that's going to enter you into a drawing for any of the courses that we have coming up, uh, including this one that we have tomorrow. So say you're the winner and you already signed up, I will get you your 15% off as a rebate. So Saks Pro Shop Mods in the comments below gets you 15% off any of the courses that we have coming up in 2023, including tomorrow's course. Yes. All right, Ryan, we're talking mods. Talking mods. Sex mods. Let's... Uh, Let's show them some of the mods that they can do in their shop. Let's also, now I know that these are some of the mods that we do here very often in the course Correct. of our overhauls. Um, but I, I guess I would say is, do you want to, I have a question. Do you want to go yeah. over the mods that we do or do you want to talk about the course a little bit? Let's talk about the course a little bit. Okay, yeah. so now yeah. who, who, who is this course kind of primarily geared towards? This is a one day uh, several hour long virtual course, yes. uh, who, 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 who should take it? Um, really, this is geared towards repair technicians or somebody with a repair experience. It doesn't necessarily have to be a professional repair technician. If you're a hobbyist that just really likes to fix saxophones and want to kind of up your game mm. as far as what you can do to saxophones, this course is for you. But it, it is designed for repair technicians. Uh, and I'm going to go over all different types of you know, possible saxophone modifications. And all of these we do here in the Sax Pro Shop. Um, that's kind of what we're known for is the kind of modifications, you know, uh, of saxophone. So yeah, it's gonna be a good time. Okay, and what are some of these modifications that I, I see? See some things our, out yeah, here. I see a few things yeah. on the table there. What, what do you think? A couple of things there? we have. Let me go the, the super up close. Wait, it's not working. Here we go, wait, I gotta move it. Oh, sorry, technical difficulties. <laughs> Uh, entertain us, Rich, with a song. Uh, there we go. Okay, there we go. So, we have a couple different uh, of items that you can use for modifications. One of the things that we actually have available here at Music Medic is are these guys right here, which are mini balls. Okay, if you're Very familiar cool. with uh, maybe a trombone or brass linkages, they utilize this connection quite a bit. Mini balls, um, and there actually is mini balls on this saxophone. We'll, we'll talk about, but I do talk about other modifications that you can use mini balls for uh, a very handy thing to have. Another thing that we have right here are just uh, blank things of mother of pearl. Mm. Okay, so you can actually cut your own. Man, if you want to cut your own uh, key pearls, you can do that. You know, we have the holders. You can do. Uh, I've used these for odd shaped. G sharp levers. Mm, okay, some cool. of the older Selmers and whatnot, they don't have the traditional oval, so you got to a lot of times cut it out. I will talk about that in the mods course. Um, I alluded to them here earlier. Uh, these pearl holders, a lot of times the brass holders, um, they get worn along with the pearl. We have a couple different sizes, and I will talk about where you would use the larger ones and where you would use the smaller ones. Um, a very, very common and simple re uh, repair that you can, or modification that you do is uh, taking off a uh, fixed right-hand thumb hook. Uh, maybe you're working on an old Con mm. King, yes. you know, Martin, Busher, whatever. Um, you can actually get this guy, and this is something that we sell as a kit, which is the base plate and then, you know, your screw and then your little retainer uh, right there. And you can see it does have a little bit of a shape to it, so it can kind of conform to the body tube, there may need to be a little bit of finishing involved, which again, I will talk about during the mods course. And then you can add in 
whatever type of thumb rest you want, whether it's the standard or the comfort hook, which again, modification, you add this onto one that didn't have it, you've modified it. There's yes. your modification. Yes, and I know that there's some special finishing that we do yes. in the Saks Pro Shop. And let me just transition over yes. to our there shop, it is. Cam. shop cam. Shop cam. We've shop got cam drop in. Jeff's working over there. He's doing something. He's at the lay. He's probably doing some modifications, but it is because that is the area. Oh, he heard us talking about it. Oh, he's running. Um, but no, that is where we do our modifications. So, uh, yeah, a lot of these modifications that happen, uh, I will do. Oh, there. He's out of here. Right. See you later. It's, it's, um, it's probably headed down to the buffing room. Call, we need a buffing right. cam. We do need a buffing All cam. All right. So, Ryan, I switched over to this to show you that this is going to be the area up during our advanced saxophone repair course. So there'll be a bunch of technicians yes. in this area. They'll have their own bench to work at. We'll provide them with some tools if they don't bring some. Uh, you know, obviously, we do have tools available for uses. But, yeah, a lot of this is going to be hands-on. Uh, they'll be set up here in the shop. They'll have full use of the shop. Very full cool. use of the shop. We'll give them a nice shop tour. And again, most important thing is we go out to lunch. Oh, very nice. So, folks, if you want to eat some good food in Wilmington, <laughs> hashtag Saks <laughs> Pro it. Shop Mods. There they are. Put that down below. Yeah, come and, on in. Come join us. We would love to have you guys. And so next week in our Wednesday Wisdom, we'll, Leroy and I will be here, but we're going to do a shop drop. Shop drop and roll. And we'll see what you guys I'm are trying to make it happen, there. folks. So yeah, uh, you know what? The other thing that I wanted to mention is we have a winner for today, and I, I forgot. Uh, uh, so let me show you just very quickly what else is going to happen. Yeah, what else? Is going on? I'm kind of interested <laughs> here. See, like I, to be a fly on the wall of the Saks Pro Shop. Let's see. Uh, we do have a winner for today. That is Tim Vanderplug. Ah, yeah. congratulations, sir! Make sure you take that Saks Pro Shop. Mods hashtag if you want to be in on winning these prizes. Of course, Tim, send me an email to rich rich at musicmedic.com and we will get you your prize on any of the courses that we have coming up in 2023. One uh, more, one more yes, before we talk yes. about the horn. One more very important ones uh, are very, very unique. Again, uh, the Mark VI Psyche Ball Connections. Uh, if you've ever dealt with those, you know they are a little um, wonky, to be yes. nice about it. Um, so we have these available for you to purchase from us, <laughs> which are side key forks. And that is a big thing that I will talk about in the uh, the mods course, uh, the Saks Pro Shop mods course, yes. uh, hashtag, um, which are a great modification, um, very long lasting and yeah, awesome. Uh, we haven't talked about these guys over here yet. Yeah, let's talk about those. Real I just quick. Wanna, I wanna shout out to Toby. Toby says, really happy to be here. Oh, well, so, happy to have you, Toby. Yep, thanks, for, thanks for joining us. So Ryan, um, what do you have there in your hand? Couple of palm key risers and we have a couple different heights. You can see there's our short, there's our medium and then a tall. Uh, these are our Music Medic Blue. Um, and you can add these on. This would be, again, a modification. And maybe not a permanent modification, but still a modification nonetheless. Um, but we have a couple special secrets for you guys. Oh, that's right. I do have yes. an additional prize for today. Uh, we've got a couple of these custom risers. Limited edition. We've got limited edition risers. So if you take that Saks Pro Shop mods and you're the winner next week, you will win a set of these. Now the one uh, this one right here. Ryan has there. That is the, it's funny, I'm looking at the screen. I can just look. There. You can look right over uh, here. Uh, that is the, well, let me see the We've name. We named it. Uh, Spirit of the Forest. Spirit of the Forest. Spirit of the Forest. That is a kind of a brownish green. Earth kind of a, tone. Earth tone. Uh, but, you know, I like the the little shapes that go through it. It's yeah, pretty cool. It cool has one. a little bit of shimmer when the light hits it. Yep, just but right. But very subtle. You know, as the player, when you see the top of it, uh, it's yes. going to be pretty subtle, Very but subtle. still kind of striking. So that's Spirit of the Forest. And then and we have... The other one is Granite Surprise. Granite Surprise. Granite Surprise. Spirit of the Forest. Granite Surprise. So, uh, Granite Surprise. And of course, these are all our uh, house-made uh, Ryanite uh, palm key risers. And you know, if you are a player, this is the kind of modification you could certainly do Absolutely. at home. Yep. Very yeah. easy for players to install these. Um, yeah, and they are fantastic. Spirit of the Forest, Granite Surprise. Rich and I stayed up so late last night trying to think of the Ugh. brainstorming back and forth, yes. Zoom calls. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. So, Ryan, so. Let's, let's switch over to our physical horn that we have here, and uh, let's show them. Why don't we show them what some of these mods will look like Absolutely. once they are actually on Actually an on an instrument, yeah. It's yeah. one thing to talk about them. It's another thing to see them. 
on a saxophone here. So now, there we are. Now, Ian's saying, do you have small risers for a soprano? Uh, well, these risers that we showed you, uh, Ian, are going to be the same for any size that work yeah. on a soprano, on modern sopranos. If you're talking about like a vintage busher or something like that, I'm not sure if these are going to work on that. They, you can actually fill them with quite a bit of epoxy oh. and, and use that to fit over them. So they are big enough. You might need to do some reshaping, but these are kind of designed for the standard modern mm. teardrop, you know, Selmer, Yamaha, Yanagasawa, all those major brands, even the import horns. This will fit um, very easily on those normal sized palm keys. Now, Ryan, I do have one more question for you. This, yes. Already, this seems like a lot of information. It is. It is a lot. Terrific. It's a lot for me to think about, too. <laughs> is there, I forget a lot of things. So say they sign up for the course tomorrow. Uh, okay. That's going to be our one-day virtual saxophone modifications course. What if they are in another country, or if the time zone's weird, or if they can't, if they just don't have the time tomorrow to yep. sit live with you? Um, is there a way that they can watch the course at a later time? Absolutely, yes. Uh, the Basically, the entire course will be recorded. Um, so I'm going to record it through Zoom. Uh, and then uh, after it's it's over, I'm going to they're going to get a, a cloud link to a cloud recording of the video. And that will be available for 30 days after the completion of the course. So they can kind of refer back to that. I will also have a handout that I will send out. Here it is right there. I'm not going to show you it because you guys aren't signed up yet. He says angrily. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but here's another sneak preview of my, there it there, is, oh, so there's all the information definitely I have. Definitely some information Yeah, there. so they're going to get uh, information of, of, you know, all the different type, types of mods. You know, there it is again. Uh, three previews and that's it. Okay. Um, but yeah, don't worry about, about remembering everything. Um, you know, a lot of guys will kind of follow along, maybe take notes, but, you know, it is going to be recorded. Um, so again, we've had people that maybe can't make it for whatever reason. They can't make the entire thing. They can't, the time zone change or whatever. Um, we've had them buy the course and then go back and watch it later, which is definitely a possibility. And, and when you guys do that, uh, obviously I provide my information. If you ever have questions, if you decide to purchase it later after the, the live taping of it, um, we'll provide you with any kind of customer support. Very cool. That's were. great to know. So. All right, Ryan. So let's go over some of the physical examples of some these mods. mods. Uh, I know that this is a, a Mark VI baritone that you yes. primarily overhauled. Yes. Uh, it is for sale. It is for sale. Yep. Thought we'd mention that. So Very good. normally people show you nice things and they're like, not for sale. Um, this is for sale. Um, so Heads up, keep thinking about that as we go over all these mods. So I guess we should probably start at the top here. Okay. Uh, let me start with the neck. Let me just go ahead and take this out, and I will show you one modification that was done. And it's a very, very common to be uh, to to do on saxophone necks, which is an underside neck brace. Okay. Um, I do this uh, quite a bit with tenor saxes, um, either adding, replacing the original one that they had in there, or adding a secondary brace to provide some support. Uh, but you can see it can happen with, with baritone saxes as well. Um, so this was having some issues uh, with it bending, so I decided to add an underside neck brace, and you can see there, added a little bit of a kind of a textured finish, a stippling textured finish, which is kind of a theme that'll come through. Really, it's two modifications. It's, it's a structural modification and a beautification modification at the same time. So um, there's an example of an underside neck brace. As a, as a player who uses a heavy metal mouthpiece, yes. I, I want to say that having yeah, that, that thing will come out to lie right about here yes. and all that leverage will just... And, and you know what, man? It's so oh. nice to... Yes. I mean, it's what a great modification you yeah. can do on an overhaul to add, you know... Absolutely. Underside. Uh, it's just uh, it's just a win-win from yep. a player's perspective. Yep. Thanks, Sorry, thanks. I, this, some of these mods I really like. No, they, okay. they do make your life so much easier. Yes. Or less tough. Yes. So depending on how you think about it. So, uh, so we're starting at the top, going down here. You can see there's another uh, this upper crook brace uh, that I actually replaced, and it does have. Let's see if I can get a nice close up of that. There it is. It does have that same stippling look to it. There's that theme that comes back. Very nice. Okay. Uh, one that's kind of under it that you might not be able to see, which is right here, which is our expandable Teflon ball octave rocker, which is definitely a pro shop original um, made famous by a, a tech that used to work here, Matt Scott. Yes, um, Matt Scott. So um, fantastic modification. And we do that, and I will talk in extensively about the expandable Teflon octave rocker uh, modification that we do here. Um, I'll talk about my process, but it's one of those things, if you look at it, you know, and that's kind of our idea with modifications. If you look at it, it should kind of blend in. It should really look as if it were always part of that. And that's why I, I almost always, 
you know, forget about this one because it looks like it's original part to this saxophone. Um, but yeah. that's another modification that we, we did to, to this guy here. Um, Ryan, I have a question before you keep going. Sure. Uh, can they use these mods on different brands of instruments? So like this is a Selmer Mark VI, but what if, can you put a Teflon rocker mechanism on a con? Like yes. you show them how to do that. I have, I have. I, I, okay. I put this a Teflon octave rocker on any time that, that it has this rocker style octave mechanism. Selmer has it, Yamaha, Yagasau, a lot of the import brands have it as well. But there was a modification I did on a con where I switched over the con style mechanism to this Selmer style, style rocker mechanism. And I modified the modification by adding the Teflon octave rocker. So it's a modification on top of a modification. It's like a Christopher Nolan. Yeah, like, stuffed inside a uh, flaky yeah. crust of, of, yeah, just so wow. it's modifying the modifications. Um, that sounds like a uh, another a good a topic for a whole other video. Holy cow! Absolutely. All right. What um, else? What working else our way down here, you can see the next thing we come to is a big modification, which is this guy right here, which we've been calling and we uh, our alpha key, yes. low A key, uh, and this actually comes on our Wilmington berries. Okay, this was yeah. a modification that I had to make for this guy, um, but traditionally on the Mark Sixes, the low A mechanism comes over top, and there's an arm. You notice underneath, I've switched that. And let me see if I can get a good close-up of that. There it is. There's that bar underneath. And you noticed there's that stippling pattern again. Okay. Another thing you can see right under there is a mini ball connection. Um, so I, there's two mini balls. There's one that goes to here. And then there's one that actually attaches right here to the key. Uh, and you can see our thumb mechanism right here. I've switched the thumb rest. The thumb rest has a roller in it now. And then I have this fin that is uh, kind of like a, a tilting low B flat spatula. Um, so I have two rollers, so it makes it very easy. And this guy has a flip up. It has a little crease for your thumb to catch. Um, so this is a very, very popular, you know, ergonomics. It, it seems style. like it's got multiple, like it's a mechanical mod, yep. it's an ergonomic mod, it's got the beautification, yes. structural. Absolutely. So we'll learn all about the different topics of modifications, you know, the durability modifications, the, er the ergonomic modifications, the beautification, the tone and intonation modification, Very cool. which is a cool one. Uh, another one you see kind of right here, which is not normally standard on Mark 6s, which is this little side e-guide. Um, and if I do my old fashioned zoom in, you can see there it is stippling again. Mm. Okay. So it's, it's kind of a theme throughout the thumb, uh, the, sorry, the strap ring is also a modification. It's our beefy strapping. You can see there again, modifications where it's the stippled feature now, to it. Now, Ryan, do you also, uh, so this is Mark six. We talked about con, but are, are these mods going to work on say Yanagisawa or Kyle Worth or yeah, a Bush lot of the, yeah a lot of these modifications can be used the, the, the same kind of concept of like side key contacts we'll talk about here in a second uh, but you can put these on pretty much anything and I will talk about modifications for specific brands and models okay so that's another one um, speaking of side key contacts here yes. we go we have some mm. right here let me get a nice zoom in on this if I can oh maybe not slide this guy all the way over. But here we are with some side key contacts. Um, so on Mark VI's on baritones, they did have this little fin right here, which stops. Um, so I decided to add one in on the C sharp, the, sorry, the side C and then the side B flat, because a lot of times the key hits up at the top and then this guy kind of just flexes. But now you can see I have some positive action where it's actually gonna touch this solid hinge rod from our alternate F sharp. The other thing you may notice is in preparation for maybe somebody playing very heavily on your side C and your side B flat. I actually reinforced it so this added post, this little guide, field goal guide as we call it, is actually bracing this solid hinge rod or solid hinge tube right here just in case it gets a little heavy handed. And then what I did is I went back to the original one and I swapped it out to match these two. So these are just basically almost like pearl holders mounted upside down where I can just cut a circle of material, make it much easier, much more efficient. So I've changed it so that each of these are that. So I can just punch a little circle of material. There we go. So that's an example of a, a, a modification that technicians can do. It's going to be efficient for them yes. to adjust and apply materials to, but it's also going to be super ergonomic for the player. I know yep. that th this modification in particular adds a lot of balance 
uh, nice. when you're playing the instrument, I, I, when you're playing vigorously. Mm -hmm. uh, and, and I know that when I'm playing Barry sax, you know, there's a lot of gyration. And <laughs> a lot like of gyration. It's, so, it's in the contract. You got to <laughs> gyrate when you're playing Barry sax. Otherwise, you're not playing Barry sax. So that's very, that's an excellent, excellent model. It'll be great for them to learn about that. What, what else do you have from this lower end? Oh, let's see. Some lower end, some adjustment screws. Okay, so I have an adjustment screw that I put in right here from my low A to low B flat adjustment, my low B to my low uh, B flat to whatever, <laughs> and so on and so forth. So these guys right here make adjusting the saxophone so set up much, much easier. Um, so I've added those guys in. Let's see what else. This has gold-plated springs. We didn't mention this Ooh. earlier, but Ooh. again, if you're changing springs, you're modifying it. Originally had the blued needle springs, yes. which tend to get a little rusty and worn out. These are Music Medic gold-plated springs. It's the same material, but rather than having a bluing coating, it's blinged out with gold plating, okay, which nice. gives you a little bit more corrosion protection. Uh, the other thing about this guy is it was a school rescue, so it was in some rough shape. So what I did is I re-engraved it, did some beautification modification. Hmm. So this is all re-engraved. And then I added some extra stuff. So there's a flower right there added on to the bow. If I flip it over right here, there's some other stuff right in there. And then you can see right there next to the strap ring. Very nice. And, and if you are interested in engraving... Ha -ha, we got another engraving course. We do have an in-person engraving course on October 16th. Now this is an in-person course. It's in a few months, but it, it is the, the type of course where, you know, we're, we're it's, it's definitely something that's going to be hands-on for now. Oh, yeah. So you've got to get down here and take this in person, and we can show you how to do those types of modifications as well. Yeah. Ryan, is there any other mods on this one that you want to talk to uh, talk about? Key pearls. Now, cool. people may see these and be like, Ryan, those are look like black. I don't know where you're getting your pearls from, mm. but you should return those. No, they are anodized aluminum key touches. Uh, okay, And some of them are traditional, just flat. Some are actually angled. Uh, and to get some better ergonomics, there's our ergonomic modification. Um, I've actually angled this one and this one towards me. This one is flat, so I get just a little bit of better ergonomics. Very cool. So my fingers aren't so curling around so much. It's a little bit more of a natural feel to those. Um, another modification that can be done. Very cool. Now, Ryan, are you going to teach any of these mods? Uh, we're doing the mods course tomorrow, of course. And if you take that hashtag, you can earn 15% off that course for tomorrow. Uh, as a rebate, but we're also doing there it is sax pro shop mods. Uh, we're also doing a course March sixth through ninth, and this is our in person advanced techniques mm -hmm. course. Are you going to teach any of these? Because some of these seem like there's a little bit of crossover with yes. advanced techniques and Very modifications. Advanced. Yes, absolutely. We will talk about modifications during the advanced, and, and you know, since it's in person, and the, the people will usually the participants will bring an instrument with them. Uh, we'll usually, you know, I'll suggest modifications specific for whatever instrument they bring. Okay. Uh, and depending on time, like like getting some side key contacts put on, oh yeah, that's definitely possible within those four days that those uh, participants are going to be here. Right there it is. That'll be the area that that, they that's, you know, they'll be there, except, you know, they won't be around Jeff's bench. Stay away from Jeff's bench. Okay. Um, stay that's, away from mine at the bottom left. He's way too. up in the corner there. Yeah, he's top way right way on way bottom up. left. You know. You used to have partner desks like 1920s detectives where we just sit across from each other. Yeah, say, yeah, yeah say. Oh, I like the cut of your gym. Yeah, so, uh, but that's where it's going to happen <laughs> the March 6th through 9th, so that'll okay. be a nice, nice time. Very uh, good. We already have a, a few participants, and there are spots left. I know it's short notice, folks, but like I said, the places in Wilmington to eat are oh, absolutely, and sure. the weather is going to be it's going to be good. Ridiculous. Yeah. So take take that Sax Pro Shop mods. Put that in the comments below. That's going to give you 15% off any of the courses that are coming up. I do have a question, Ryan. I have one last question before we go. Sure. Uh, Murray says he likes the stippling. Yes. Uh, Thank you, Murray. He's also asking about uh, what is the material of the Ryanite risers? It and is, uh, it's, he's uh, also asking if these are cast and I know that's, uh, they're not cast. We can answer that. Yeah. These are not cast. These are actually machined in our CNC machine shop. Um, and they are, I mean, they are very, very nice. They fit right over top. In fact, we didn't mention on this, but look at there, oh, this at has that. the Ryanite Pomky risers and the material is a, uh, a closely guarded secret. Um, many hours working in the lab and, and some mining operations and really having to get down to the nitty gritty and uh, coming up with this fantastic uh, material. You can either get Spirit of the Woods or Granite Surprise. Um, I don't not, name all of them, but I named the good not, ones. I'll, I'll give a hint. It is not resin. 
It is not, it's not no, a cast. It is not a resin. No, it's not yeah. a cast. It is a um, machinable material. Machi yeah, machinable material that really holds its tolerances. I mean, these are very, very tight tolerances. Um, it is a fantastic material. Very, It holds up. Yes. Uh, and it can be polished up very, very easily, very nicely. Uh, it can be worked with very, very easily and very nicely as well. Very good. So, yes. Thank you, Ryan. No, thank, thank you, you for. I, I know I had a lot of questions. And was you did. You did. Almost too many. But no, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, guys, thank you so much for watching. Make sure you take that hashtag, put it in the comments below. Uh, we will be back next week with our shop cam. There it is. Stop dropping. And Ryan, uh, Leroy and I are going to be doing some clarinet stuff. Uh, but we will also drop That's in. live, folks. That's live. Is that really what's It is. On? It is actually. So if I walk out there now, I may do, uh, Here, I'll, I'll, I'll prove it to them. It's not recorded. Okay. It's, I'll see you guys later. All right. Out here. Let's so see. What, what, probably what's he still do? hear me. Uh, ba, 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 so, uh -oh, ba, here I am. Hey, Ryan. Hey, everybody. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any other comments or questions, put them in the... Uh, <laughs> Put them in the chat below. Let me just check one more time. Uh, shout out to Murray. Thank you so much for your kind comments. And to all the rest of you, thank you guys for liking and subscribing. And uh, oh, you're going to sneak by? Yeah, I'm going to sneak by. This is how all we right. do our sign. Oh, very good. Uh, and until next time, uh, thank you guys so much and happy repairing.